Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another Persian dish, badem jumpolo. Let's go over the ingredients and start making it. All right, badem jumpolo is the eggplant rice. So we're going to start with the badem jun itself, which is eggplant. I have a two large eggplant. If you don't have it, you might use four or five regular or small eggplant. I do have a three uh, cups of rice. This has already been washed and clean. It's ready to be cooked. I have a 500 gram and a half a kilogram of uh, stew beef. And I do have one lamb shank for the taste. It does have the uh, uh, bone, but we have to take the bone before I put it in the rice. Okay, and I also need two uh, tomatoes and one onion, a cooking oil, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, a three quarter of spoon turmeric, half a teaspoon garlic powder, some liquid saffron. So there are some similarity between this food and the a saffron rice cake, which is a tachin, and I do have, I made it before you can look up in one of the video, but it's not the same exact. Although some people make it very similar, do over the ingredients almost the same. They use the egg and yogurt, all those things. I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna make it simple, easy. And also it's not the uh, eggplant stew because there is not too much of liquid involved. It's gonna go mixed with the rice. So we start with just the, uh, our meat and onion. So you have to dice the onion and uh, cook the meat because it might take about like a, maybe two hours. And meanwhile, we're gonna do the rest of the things. So let's uh, start with this and uh, go over the rest of the ingredients the way it has to be prepared. So this is the first part. You have to do that and saute onion and then uh, add the meat and some of the spices and let it be cooked for about, as I said, maybe two hours. Meanwhile, you have to check on that one and add those tomatoes which I'm going to puree them and not going to put it, you know, from the beginning. And also, as I said, you know, I'm not going to use uh, the tomato paste because we're not going to make the eggplant a, a stew. While we're just going to cook the meat, we can peel the uh, eggplant and uh, just prepare that for the, our food. Let's uh, start with just uh, saute this first. We're gonna add some cooking oil into the pan that we're gonna saute the onion and then add the meat to it. Okay, we're gonna occasionally, we're gonna just uh, turn this around and mix them until it gets the color change to brown then we're gonna add the meat and some of the spices let's go and prepare the eggplant now all right we're going to peel this eggplant first all right we cut it to the few pieces not very thin not too thick. I'm going to put all this eggplant that I cut and uh, just put it in some place like the one that I have because I'm going to actually put lots of salt on them and this it causes to take the most of the uh, juice, not the juice but just the bitterness out of the eggplant and also it when you cook it it uses less uh, 
oil also. So I'm just doing like this, but uh, when I want to use it, I'm just going to pat dry them and clean them or wash them, then pat dry them so the saltiness is not going to go to food. So I'm just going to put this aside and when is the time, you bring it in and uh, use it for the sauteing them. Okay. Now the next step, it's going to be the meat. If that's sizzling right now, I can hear it. So onion and uh, so as soon as it just turned the color, we're going to add this to it and let them cook as I said maybe hour and 45 minutes or two hours as long as you need it needs it you have to make sure it's it's very well cooked okay so that's the next step all right our onion is kind of is ready because it's been translucent and if you look at it there are some of them are being golden brown and it's a time for our meat goes into this and uh, cook together. There we go. All right, the food that I'm making, it's uh, very easily, it's gonna serve four to five people. And uh, here is the time for this turmeric. And black pepper and some garlic powder. Now I'm just putting them all together, let them saute and then later on when I add the, those two tomatoes I'm gonna you know just uh, make a puree and then when I add them I'm gonna add the salt also. Okay, it seems it's been sauteing pretty good and uh, I guess it's a time to put uh, a little bit of water, not too much because it's not going to be a, a stew. It's going to go into the rice so therefore you don't need that much of water or juice. So let's put some of this boiling water. I guess that's good enough and have to watch that and frequently just uh, turn around so make sure it's not going to be burned on the bottom. All right for now we leave this alone and uh, you just reduce the heat to medium low and let them cook away and we go and do the rest of our things. While uh, our meat is cooking and our eggplant is uh, has been sitting there to just uh, to get the all the extra juice out of it, we are I'm going to cut these little bit pieces, and uh, as I said, I'm I'm gonna shred this, and don't want to be just a, a very visible pieces, so just. Uh, and that two it's enough and just be just change the taste and a little bit of the color and uh, that's all we need all right and uh, so let's do that and put this aside make it ready for the time that it has to go to uh, mix with the meat Okay, just make a puree out of this. It's been about like 45 minutes that I put this with the salt here. As you see, you know, the, some of the juice getting out of it and uh, you see all those what I have done, that's the salt. So I'm going to wash this, then I'm just going to pat them dry. And uh, 
so get rid of the bad juices and all the salt yeah, you could do this earlier before anything else is so you save the time and make it ready you can just do this in a sunlight if you want to or just leave it for hour hour and a half to get everything out of it and makes it easier to cook let's dry this and start sauteing those So uh, for just saute this eggplant, you need some oil. Put about like a five, six spoon of oil, cooking oil, and start doing it after it gets hot. Okay, our oil is uh, getting hot. It's ready for just uh, put the eggplant into this. You see. Okay, our eggplants are done nicely and let's go and check on our meat to see what's going on. Oh wow, okay, it's uh, the water almost is going down. Camera froze, so uh, was the time for just adding the tomato puree and salt because didn't put the salt from the beginning and uh, some of those uh, saffron that I prepared, maybe three, four a spoon, and uh, mix them together, wait another half an hour or so, then it's gonna be done. All right, so it's uh, time to prepare our rice because that uh, meat is cooking still, and we just saute our eggplant, and here is the water that we're gonna put this and cook it for about as soon as it start boiling maybe eight minutes or so then we have to drain the water because i'm going to put a lots of salt in this right now and uh, the rice has to be halfway cooked because uh, as i said you know you have to put a mix in with the meat and the eggplant and put it on a, a fire again for about maybe 45 minutes after that. So let's start cooking the and prepare our rice. And when it start boiling, I show you, and I show you when is the time to drain the extra water. See ya. Uh, okay, the, the rice is gonna be ready for a draining. So as you see, it's boiling here. And they change the texture and it's it's cooked in a half a way so that's the time to just drain the water and wash it with the uh, cold water and make it ready to mix with the eggplant and meat so this way we can wash all the extra excess salt then it's going to be ready to go back to the same pot and mix the rest of the ingredients together. Something that I completely forgot is I just usually I put a little bit of the lime or lemon juice. So I'm just going to cut this and squeeze some of this into our meat and uh, Give him a much better taste. All right, now it's complete. Just let them cook till it's done. All right, our meats are ready, done, and uh, I'm gonna take the bones out. Okay, and then uh, you're just uh, going to mix with the rice. For the rice, 
I have to put a little bit of water on this pot and I'm going to add about like a, a quarter of the cup oil because you know I, I don't want to stick to this so it has to be a little bit oily on the bottom then uh, so for that reason I just trying to just let it you know emulsion and mix together water and uh, oil at the same time for the color I'm gonna add the little bit of saffron also to give them a nice color on the bottom and we are going to over the rice and put them back into this pot with the meat and eggplant let's do it all right start with putting some of this rice in the bottom okay and then start just putting the rest of the ingredients in between the layers so this is going to be a, our first base okay and start by putting the eggplants here okay pretty good it's been covered now it's a turn for our meat goes on the top of the eggplant I'm just trying not to go too much to the edge all right I'm gonna put the rest of the rice on the top to cover so that's gonna be in the between of the two layer one in the bottom one on top the rice and uh, it's gonna be pretty good now for just giving a another color to this one now I'm gonna use a little bit of the rice put it in a small bowl with the saffron then I put it back there okay let me put this rice okay gonna be very colorful at the same time very nice fragrant and wonderful taste all right all these things is gonna be going on a stove a stove top all right it, it's going to be on a high heat okay at uh, it's 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 high and i'm leaving it here for i believe at seven eight minutes and you're going to see the steam all over it. then you take the top and cover it with the kitchen cloth put it back and lower the heat for another 35 minutes I think the food's going to be ready at that time okay it is time for just put the kitchen cloth as you see there's lots of steam here already and uh, so just going to put that kitchen cloth so just make help to cook the rice and also prevent the water go back to make it mushy 
So just reduce the heat to the medium low and uh, for, as I said, maybe 30, 35 more minutes, then I hope it's done. All right, this is our bottom jump flow and it's done. As I remember, I said, you know, about 40 minutes, you know, it, it's gonna be done. So I it finished it, I just flipped the pot and uh, I remember this is not a tachin, uh, which is a rice cake. That's why otherwise it would be in one pieces, then you, you can cut it like a cake. But this is just a, a regular uh, berenge and a tadik or rice with a tadik. And that's obviously has some cracks here. But the important thing is the taste and what is in there. Uh, so I'm gonna show you exactly what it's right there. And here we go. This is what it's gonna be. Look at this. This is what you're looking for. This is, it makes a difference from any other dish. You see the, the meats there, the eggplants here, and crispy rice all together. So you have it in one dish. Like always Persian food, you can serve it with the torshi pickled vegetable or yogurt and also some herbs thank you so much for watching my show i appreciate like always and i hope you enjoyed the show and uh, i want you to let your friend knows about it and try to make it and also let me know how it's going to be turned out to be till next time with another persian dish bye